This is the Infinity 360 photo booth. I'm going to show you everything that comes with it and I'm going to also show you how to set it up. If you like content like this, I want you to go ahead and smash the subscribe button. Make sure you like the video and leave a comment if you found this video helpful. So, without further ado, let's get into the video and don't forget, link is in the description. Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you the new Infinity 360 photo booth. Now this is no ordinary photo booth. This is going to separate you from your competitors because not everybody has this. I don't know if you can tell by the size right now, but it is massive. 115 centimeters, holds up to seven adults. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to turn off all of the lights and show you this Infinity 360 photo booth in all its glory with the lights. Trust me, it's amazing. Of course, the link is in the description below. You can click and you can purchase one no this is 115 centimeters so it is kind of heavy unless you're going to have this photo booth stationary somewhere I don't think you necessarily need to get this size because it's pretty heavy but the 18 centimeters mm, perfect you're gonna want this so I'm going to unbox it show you everything that comes in the photo booth and I'm gonna set it up for you so this is also this is a two for one special so you're gonna to get to see the infinity 360 photo booth and I'm gonna show you how to set up your 360 photo booth all right so so further ado guys let's get into the video and let me show you how crazy this photo booth is no when you purchase your new 360 photo booth of course you're gonna get your red carpet right now this is going to be big of course because it's 115 centimeters but you get a red carpet you're also going to get the ring light all right this is the arm well piece of the arm there's three pieces these are all your attachments your accessories you're going to need this you get some props i really like them then you are going to get, if I can just get it out, it's another part of the arm. So it's three pieces for the arm. This right here is a type of material that is going to protect uh, your logo. I don't think you're going to need this per se, but it's really good to have if you want to protect the base of the platform, you know, so it doesn't get scratched up when people step on it. Okay, so this protects the platform. You get this as well. And last, but certainly not least, you're going to get a money gun. And guests love these as well. Who doesn't like money flying, right? It's gold, very pretty. Of course, money doesn't come with it. You can purchase that on Amazon. Link is also in the description for the paper money. But you get a nice, Beautiful, shiny, gold money gun. So these are some of the accessories. So this is the remote uh, to change the lights. You get one of these. You get two of these, which is a trigger. You get two of them. You get the adapter. And you also get an iPad holder, just in case you, you have an iPad and you don't want to use a phone. All of these accessories come with the booth, as well as a manual. You have access to me to ask me any questions you want. So I think this is just an amazing deal. And now I'm about to show you the Infinity 360 photo booth. Ooh, this boy is heavy. Okay, almost there. I gotta be careful with it. All right. Absolutely amazing. Full glass right here, tempered glass. When I connect this, you're gonna see all the lights and the whole photo booth. So yeah, I'm about to show you how to set up the 360 photo booth. I'll show you how it works. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put these fixing screws on the base. This makes the platform stable. You're gonna get a bunch of these. All right, so that's what we're gonna do first. So we're gonna put these to make sure the booth is nice and sturdy. There's about I think I say about 20 of them. Of course, you can adjust these. Like if you are on a surface that's not level, you can loosen them or make them, you know, like unscrew them so that they're as stable as possible. All right. This is the first step. Just a few more.
and as you can see there is like a couple more there's four more in there and I only need one more so if you lose some you have extras And that right there is the first step. So after we put the fixing screws on the base of the platform, now we're going to set up the arm. All right. Now you're gonna have bigger screws and like smaller screws. So the first thing we're going to do is attach this piece to this piece. Now you're gonna see a hole in the middle right here. You can see it? You're gonna see this hole right here. This is going to be affixed right here all right so you're gonna find this hole all right make sure it lines up and then we're going to attach and screw it in and what we do for one side we're gonna do for the other take another screw and we're gonna put it to the middle all right no, it's fully screwed in. No, we have the leverage of bringing it where we want. No, I see a lot of you guys having the arm like fully vertical. You don't want it vertical. You want it at an angle where it's kind of leaning back because you want to get the subjects that are on the platform, you want to get a good angle of them. If it's too close, if it's too straight or too vertical, it's going to be kind of close you want it kind of away from them so i kind of bring it instead of bringing it like right here i kind of bring it back so we're going to find an angle that i like maybe right here for me and then there's a hole right there we're just going to screw it in all right because that's where we want it and what we do for one side we're going to do it for the other as well and we're going to screw it in the same side Boom. All right, so this is the base of the arm. You're gonna take this long piece right here and it goes right here. Just gonna screw it in. And you just go as far as you can. So now that you fixed this piece, to this piece, we're going to place this piece in here. Make sure the holes line up. And then we screw it in. And again, what we do to one side, we do to the other side. Second layer right here. And then. Boom. Almost done with the arm. This last piece right here. I'm gonna place it inside again. Make sure the holes line up. Boom. And just like that, you fixed your arm. No, I do not take this apart. I don't. I always put it like this in my car because I already know how I want the, ang the camera angle to look. So I'm not going to always break this down, which is too much work. And then every time I go to an event, I have to be calculating where, I no, I don't have time for that. I walk with it just like this and this is my arm. All right. So whenever you found like a sweet spot where you think the camera angle is perfect when it's at that level or length or whatever, Keep it like that. It makes no sense wasting time doing this every time. Trust me, it's annoying. All right, so now that you have your arm fully assembled, we're going to attach the ring light to the top, all right? So now we're going to fix the ring light. Now there's two attachments. This goes right here. 
So we'll screw it in. Okay. This is going to make the ring light more versatile. All right. And then you're going to have another piece that's just like this. And this goes at the top right here. Screw it in. Tight, all right? After you do that, the phone holder goes right here. So, you screw the phone holder in at the top. All right. So when you do that, you can bring the phone holder down, which it should be facing them, and tighten it. Or actually, it should be facing you, but you can put it anyway, all right? And then you use this to tighten it when you, you know, have your desired angle. This tightens it right here. You can loosen it to bring it up wherever you want. And then we attach the ring light to the arm. So just screw it in. Boom. All right. No, you can loosen this right here and bring the ring light anywhere we want it. All we have to do is tighten. So that is your arm fully assembled. So now that your ring light is attached and your arm is fully assembled, we're going to put the arm into the 360 photo booth. It goes right there. The arm goes fully in. Now what we do is screw the arm in. Now you're going to see the holes at the bottom. All right, so now we're just going to screw it in, as you can see. And again, we do it to the other side. As easy as that. Something to keep in mind, guys, that you're going to need a power bank to power the ring light. All right, so you plug the power bank in, press the arm button right here and the ring light comes on, all right? So all you do is, I'm not gonna do it right now, you would unravel this, wrap it around the arm, and you would place the power bank right here, all right? And you would wrap it around, so that's uh, the power bank. So bear in mind, you're going to need a power bank. Also, another thing to bear in mind is, if you assemble the arm, and you find that the arm is too tall, you can eliminate this part. I've done this already. You can eliminate this part and attach this to this. All right, it will be a little shorter if you find that this is just too tall. Um, even though you shouldn't really find it as a problem because you can always pull this down, you know, and stuff like that. But that is just a tip that you can always omit this one right here. You can always omit this one right here and just connect these two if you find that it's too tall. So now it's the fun part. Now we're gonna attach the adapter and see the Infinity 364 booth light up, right? So this is the adapter right here. This plug goes right here. So I don't know if you can see this little hole right there. There's this hole right here, you're gonna put it right there. And put it in and then the adapter goes into your outlet and as you can see it is absolutely beautiful how it lights up it's crazy I just I just love the look it just looks like an abyss like you could really just go in but it is so cool and of course you can change the lights with this button right here that's green, blue.
So as you can see, it's just really pretty. It literally looks like you can dive in. The lights are just lovely. This is a mode that it's on. You can change it with this right here. So there's another mode. It goes to this right here. Really cool. Can change it again, right? Just depending on the vibe that you're going for. Can change it again. Right, that's like a, like a strobe. This one is really cool as well, you get me? You can change the colors. This, dope. This is another mode. But the one that I really like, I'm trying to find it, this one. This is just really cool to me. I don't know about you, but this, is, this one is my favorite. And that's all I have for you guys. You see the Infinity 360 photo booth. Now you know how to set it up when you make your purchase. Link is in the description below. If you like content like this, please go ahead and like the video. If you've learned something, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. So until next time, peace.